Hi, it's Dave with Regal Fabric Care. We're located in the Boston area and we clean all soft furnishings. We're here to describe to you how to take care of, if you're so inclined to take care of your own needlepoint wall hangings. We get called and emailed throughout the country many times in the course of a year with uh, questions about cleaning and maintaining these. This piece here was shipped to us from North Carolina recently. We decided to take on this project in a, a little bit about how you can go about your own cleaning if you wanted to try. If you do have professionals in your area who know how to clean these, I'd suggest you go to them because it can be tricky. But initially, the detergent you would use to take out most soils from a piece like this, and again, this is a hand-woven needlepoint. This colored material is all wool. This is a linen fabric it's woven into. You can see the extra fabric bound here. And according to our customer, this is 62 years old, this wall hanging, and it has been in her family for that long. We suggest woolite. Now, what's important, the most important step on anything you do to try to clean this is mix it according to the directions on the back in warm water. Then, what you would do, you would moisten a white terry towel with a woolite. And you would lay the terry towel across. It would be just damp. Just uh, lay it across each of the colors. For example, right here in the middle would get every color. You lay it across here and let it sit overnight. What you're doing is a dye stability test. And you want to pull it back after 24 hours and see if any colors are bleeding out. That means coming onto the white terry. If it does happen, then I suggest you stop and try to hire a professional. You can see there's been some bleeding on this piece, which was unavoidable. It does happen, but you want to know that in advance. So you would just shampoo this using the woolite. You would rinse it maybe with a spray bottle like this with plain white vinegar and warm water. That's a one-to-one -one solution of white vinegar and warm water here. Spray it, and then it's important to dry this quickly. What I would suggest if you have a wet vac at your house, you take some screen. This is screen material that you find in any hardware store. It's nylon, don't use the metal kind. You lay it over the piece, and you use your wet vac to slowly pull the water out. This, this should not be left dripping wet, this needle point. So again, once you do the rinse phase, you would rinse, you would, I'm sorry, you would vacuum out slowly, the whole piece, even on the back. Then put it in front of a fan, because what could happen, you might not see dye bleeding, after it's washed and still damp, but if you let it dry too slow, that's when darker colors could bleed. So put a, put a gentle blowing breeze across it. You could use a hair dryer if you want. If you have questions, leave them, leave them uh, questions or comments, leave them below. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.